Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm giving you guys a hot type of tutorial. We're gonna kick this video right off with me going in with my trimmers, sending in my first primary guideline, and that's our bald line. Because the bald line, I feel, sets you up for the whole fade. It's gotta be nice, clean, consistent. That's gonna continue to make your fade nice and consistent. Now we're going in with our instant trimmers or clippers, not trimmers, I'm tripping. All the way open, no guard. And we just setting ourselves up, making our first guideline. Making sure it's smooth and consistent all the way through. And then we just aging at that line, playing with the lever a little bit, just to soften up that line at the bottom. Now we got our number one guard all the way open, going up into that area, setting ourselves up, making another guideline. Slowly but surely, making sure we getting that hair down to that desired length. Now I'm closing up that one guard, aging at that line that in between our two guard lines, just softening it up, cause it's not gonna take it out all the way. Now we got our zero guard on, halfway, not all the way open, halfway. And we just aging at that line using nothing but corners. Remember corner work is what makes the fade. Now we got it all the way open going up into that one that we just made, feathering through, hitting dark spots. Now we're gonna close it all the way and inch at that line at the bottom. Now we got our number one and a half guard. We're gonna open it up all the way and blend it into the top. The top is one open, so this one and a half really does a trick for me. I don't really use the number two guard because I feel like the one and a half open is pretty close to a two. And it does the job for me. You know, it always makes my blends look nice. But not every barber is the same. So I'm just giving you the sauce to my game. Now we're coming back in with our one open. Detailing that little area at the top. Making the transition a little more seamless, smooth. Want it to blend a little better. Hidden dark spots that maybe the one and a half couldn't get. And you see that detail work is what separates you. Straight corner work. Coming back in with no guard on our instincts. And this is just straight detail. You see how I'm feathering through, hitting little dark spots that you guys might not see. Just going in, trusting my steps, trusting my process. Now we at halfway, no guard, just detailing the bottom area, bottom section. You see, now I'm feathering through the fade, trying to use straight corners, not trying to cut any hair that I don't want to cut. Now I put that zero guard back on so I could go further up into the fade in detail. And it's all the way open as you guys can see. That way I can get really up in there. Now this side I'm following the same steps that I showed you guys on the front side. But his hair does grow at an awkward backwards angle as you guys can see. So it's like it's a little tricky but if you follow your steps and you stay consistent you will get the job done. And that's applies to life also you know what i'm saying if you show up every day what you have to do i'm telling you good things are going to happen no matter what happens the world gonna keep spinning you know what i'm saying bad things happen to everyone and you can't avoid it sometimes that's why you just gotta stay consistent keep doing what you're doing and trust your process like i'm trusting this fading process as you guys can see i'm just going through skimming over the hair flattening it out because you know sometimes whenever the hair grows in a certain type of way or if it's overly curly sometimes you got to flatten the fade just to get that desired look but yeah y'all can see i'm just take trusting my process trusting my steps and this fade is coming together slowly but surely take your time don't ever rush through a haircut no matter how much money or how many people waiting don't rush through a haircut clients notice clients notice Yeah, now we finna get into this lineup. I start by applying some alcohol to his forehead lineup area. Just to dry out the skin. We prepping the skin for a sharp line. You know, separate that skin from hair. Give it that. Mm. And we hit it with some hairspray real quick to lock it in place so it don't move. That blow dryer gonna do it every time. Making that hair really lay down. Mm, Cause we don't want it to move. That hairline ain't gonna move when you get out that shower. I promise you that. Now I'm starting in the middle. Because I know this client and I've had him before, 
I'm really not taking the usual steps I do for my hairlines, but I know where his hairline is and I know where it's supposed to be at and I know how he likes it. So, but as you guys can see, I'm inching my way to the right side, making sure I'm taking small strokes. I'm not putting the full blade on the head. I'm probably using the last four or five teeth of the blade as I go over just to make sure I'm cutting exactly what I need to cut. And I'm keeping this hairline as natural as possible. We're not pushing it back, making it crazy. We're just keeping it super natural. It's going to look light, but this is the way my client likes it. He likes it natural and crispy. No enhancements. And the steps that I followed on the right side, I'm following them, taking it over to the left side. Slowly but surely, we're getting a sharp line. Go over the hairline as many times as you need. Make sure you ain't using some clippers that's going to cut your client. Because I know we all like to use the sharp hitters on our hairlines but sometimes you don't need to as long as you're taking the right strokes and you're going over it over and over and over and you're taking short consistent strokes that line will be sharp just trust your process as y'all can see i'm just boom hitting it over and over and over i'm not taking big big like strokes you know what i'm saying they're not even strokes really i'm just punching a line in really but as y'all can see i'm taking my time being assist being consistent, making sure that line is there. I'm ensuring that line is there. And you get in that shower, he brushes his hair, that line is still gonna be there. Now I'm hitting the vertical bars. Y'all gotta bear with me because I just started recording in the new shop and I'm trying to get my angles down. So you guys can have the best haircut viewing experience. You know what I'm saying? But just give me time. The more videos come out, the better I'll get at this. So just bear with me. But you guys really can't see what I'm doing. But when I do get on the other side, you'll see. Now I'm matching up the sides, you see. I bring his vertical bars almost to the end of his eyebrows. Not the end. Like I say, the little part where it starts to arc. That's where I take the vertical bars. But you see, I'm following the same steps I followed on the other side. And I'm applying it to this side. Slowly but surely making that line come in. It's light, but if you follow your steps and you stay consistent you will get that line you want boom i'm just hitting the line over and over and over just to make sure man look at that <laughs> fade crispy line up crispy all natural i ain't even hit it with no razor or nothing look at the cut man look at the cut man look at the cut man hot taper Faded out in the back. Lines crispy. All natural. Not one to enhance me. Client overly satisfied. Thanks for watching, guys. More videos on the way. More content on the way. This is just the beginning, man. We finna go up the rest of the year. Like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time.